today's episode, I get a concussion. Can we turn it off now? <laughs> Safety first. I'm gonna tie my shoe as well so I can shift gears because we gotta be insured for success. Put the traction back on. Do you drive without traction? Yeah, all the time. All the time, even in winter? Because I've gotten used to it, and then if mm-hmm. traction's on, I start correcting, and then that takes over, and then it fucks me up even more, kind of. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Meet the Owner. Today we have here Alex Sajadi, also known as, what, Jades on Instagram? Yeah, they call me Jades. What's up, guys? Excited to be on the show. It's going to be a good time. Today we are in this BMW M4. Um, I think I'll just try and attempt to get into first gear, and then we'll just kind of just jump into uh, some of the specs and then get Sounds into the good, fun. Man. Let's do it. First try. Got the handbrake down, clutch in. This car is perfect for tall people. You know, we got to check the mirrors. Make sure there's no pedestrians back there. Oh, you have it in loud mode, don't you? Medium loud mode. Medium loud no mode. No gunshots. This dip makes me nervous, dude. Did the Aventador ever scrape over there? Never, dude. It's not Never. as bad as you think. Hmm. It looks worse than it is. Yeah, well, listen, you're talking to a guy who bottomed out his Jeep, so... <laughs> you went on... What was it, North? This year? Uh, on Crown uh, North? Yeah, Chicago and Minneapolis. Or Minneapolis, Chicago. Yeah, so you remember the launch point for that? I think you were there, actually. Uh, I actually uh, was leaving from the uh, pre-party, and I forgot about a speed bump, so I took a speed bump at like 40 miles an hour, and I heard my front end just smack. Jeez, dude. Oh, that was beautiful. You gotta... That was, that was smooth. Okay, so you got Blizzaks on here, right? They're not Blizzaks, but there's some snow tire. I think they're Michelin somethings. That was like 70% throttle. This is in third gear. So where do you get most of your power? With traction off, my wheels are usually spinning in first and second. So like third gear is when I can really put the power down. This is a 2019, right? 2018. 2018. M4. Okay. So what is it, everything that you have done to this? You have a tune on there. What kind of tune is it? Uh, well, first of all, it came with, it's a competition package. Okay. So it had a little more power over the base model, um, better suspension sh- set up, better wheels, better brakes. Um, I think stock, it was 444, 444 horsepower. Now it's 600. Okay. At the crank. Yeah. Which puts it like around like 530-ish wheel, I think we said. Something roughly. like that. Something like yeah. that. But then your plans for this summer are to get to 700 wheel, right? Yeah, I'll do that with a pure stage 2 turbo build, which will be crazy. This is fairly balanced the way it yeah, is right, right now. Yeah, right now I feel like it's super well balanced, but um, I always like more power. Right now all it has done is some exhaust work, intake, um, the exhaust is downpipe and midpipe, and um, it's got springs, mm-hmm. and then it's tuned by Paul Johnson, running on full E85. So, and then are you considering like a flex tune or something down the line? Or yeah, I want to, that'd be nice. Because 93 is easier that. to find too, I'd well, say, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, I've got it pretty well figured out. Like I was <laughs> consistently getting gas every week. In the same spots. There you go. How was it? Uh, was this E85 tune when you went on Crown Rally? No, luckily. it wasn't. That would have been freaking annoying, dude. Yeah, that, that's the terrifying part about rallies. This is the uh, Automotoplex over here, isn't it? Yeah. So did you come to every single show over here or not really? So it's like right next door to your place. I was at most of them, dude, probably like 90%. Yeah. I remember the first time we saw, I saw the Aventador and the tabs were expired by like two years. Dude, they're always expired. <laughs> <laughs> and then could I just downshift and I'll make the pops, I guess? You want right. gunshots? You want to do gunshots? Yeah, here, go to second. Second? Yep. Got the clutch out. Do you do the gunshots often or no? A couple times a day, probably. A couple times a day. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's neutral. That's neutral. That's neutral. <laughs> right after we said how good you got. Where's the 
pop. Let's hear it a pop. It's not gonna pop. It's inconsistent, man. You're oh. gonna go right at the light. We don't wanna get too much attention. Oh. <laughs> that one when I uh, wasn't. Can we turn it off now? <laughs> um, I was gonna say, when I went in. Yeah. You done? <laughs> when, when I went into uh, neutral, it really popped on that one. That was crazy. Oh, yeah. You felt that one. Yeah. There is definitely some flames in that one. No warranties are being voided with the blinkers today. What's your favorite road to drive around here? Um, uh, Victoria, that one where we took the event to go. Oh yeah, that was a fun it's one. A, it's a good road. I wish I filmed that a little more. I, if I had the GoPro on time, that would have been so sick. Yeah, because we got halfway to Mankato when I drove the event to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, in like 20 minutes. What's your favorite experience in this car so far? Probably the track event at last Crown Rally or this a couple months ago and we had Brainerd to ourselves and I was just messing around with the skid pad. <laughs> and I got a slide like all of Brainerd Raceway. It was it was a good time. So you said you're doing west, right? Or south? Possibly. You still haven't decided. I'm definitely doing north, but why is that? Is there uh why is uh so I've noticed you've done north three times now? Or two times? Two times. So okay, so you said you used to do bike racing too, right? I'm working on it, dude. I've done a ton of track days, and I'm actually, at the end of March, I'm heading back out to finish uh, California Superbike School. Okay. And then hopefully talk about getting into racing while I'm there. Get all that set up. You do everything. You do wheelies on bikes. You fly airplanes. I mean, what what else? Like, are you an adrenaline junkie? Yeah. A little yes, bit? Yeah. <laughs> um, after that, though, I'm probably... At the hangar next door, there's this dude with an aerobatic airplane. Uh huh. And I'm probably gonna join his club and rent his plane out and start flying aerobatic stuff. So that'll, that'll be that'll be insane. So let's pretend I don't know anything about airplanes. What's aerobatic? <laughs> so like barrel rolls, spins, flips, just <laughs> make the airplane fall out of the sky and save it. <laughs> you bad man. I remember when you uh, when we did the Aventador thing. Uh, you were like, you want to grab some photos of me doing wheelies on the bike? And I'm like, oh, this will be interesting. That wasn't <laughs> too bad, though. Like, that's not too bad at all now. But now you want to stand on top of the bike? <laughs> yeah, it's it's not as hard as it looks. Why is that? Well, I, I guess you're more in shape than the I am. Bike, so. <laughs> the bike wants to balance itself, so you just, you just stand up, it'll go. It speaks to how far technology has come. Like, I guarantee you, if I roll this right now, there's a good chance we'll win. We'll be, we'll be most likely be all right. Most likely. So that brings me to my next question. Do you know of any uh, places we can roll over? I think this is the only the second ever rear wheel drive car I've driven. Dude, rear wheel drive is better. Yeah. Well, I've driven. No, it's not better. <laughs> it's more enjoyable, I think. Without a doubt. I mean, if I wanted to rip a donut like right here in the middle of the divided highway, I could. Or uh, let's let's see what this flag says. This looks interesting. What's this fella got to say? Trump 2020, no more bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you would never get rid of this thing? Probably not, dude. You've just put so much time and effort into it, and this is only the first year of you having it, too. Not even, dude. Like, yeah, it hasn't been a year. Yeah, it's been like, what, seven months? Yeah. Roughly? God, those gunshots are hilariously fun. So, you have how many different modes do you have here? So, you have quiet with the valve, loud, and then do you have a gunshot mode? Yeah. So, like, three modes? Yeah, everything has three modes. The steering has three modes, the suspension, and then the engine. So there's Sport, Sport Plus, and Comfort or Efficient. Where is the road? Okay, there we go. I think it's the shoulder, bro. It's the lanes over there. It's <laughs> a big ass shoulder. <laughs> How much does this hold? I think, like, you said eight. It's a 15 gallon tank. I should have down. 85, you can just watch it just drop. Well, especially once you floor it, like... Yeah, dude. <laughs> Thank God the 85 is cheap, though. <laughs> is that what you do for a living? That's not what I do for a living. You sell drugs for a living? Is that what you're telling me? Now that I'm flying, though, like... You see the American mood. American made movie. Oh, that was such a good movie. Yeah, it's pretty tempting. <laughs> Am I more... Does it seem like I'm more comfortable than the last time we yeah, filmed? Yeah, dude. It's smoother. You can't install it yet. It's... Why you gotta jinx it? Why you gotta jinx it? It's your clutch. Do you ever, with this car, do you ever just go out and drive? Just All the time, dude. No plans, nowhere, just pick a road and just go? Yeah, just see where I end up. Yeah. And this is still loud mode, I think, right? Yeah, the 
Yeah, yeah it's it's nice when you're in third gear just coasting. I mean, you could still have a conversation, but. Do you want to open the window? They're opening the sunroof. It's insane. I had to do it in the hills where it would echo a little bit. And you hear that for miles. I bet oh, you you hear that. Here for my brother and sister, they know and I'm like five miles away. <laughs> Directions with you are terrifying. Sorry, man. I... <laughs> so what's your, out of all the things you've done to this car, from the wrap to the noises to the speed, what's, right, in here. right here, what's your, <laughs> my favorite, your favorite thing you've done? Um, I love the look of the wrap and like the carbon fiber bits I put on. I think it looks sweet, but performance wise, the E85 was like the biggest thing. Really? Yeah. How much horsepower does the E85 have, do you think? Like 130-ish. You know it's a school day, right? They're thinking like right here. Yeah, that should be fine. <laughs> it's sticky to this guy. That parking lot's way better. Are you gonna get smoky with it? Hell oh, yeah. Oh, it's a big old crow. Hi. <laughs> there's a corner you just send it but we can continue the rest of this episode with me in the passenger seat because i've already embarrassed myself enough <laughs> dude that wasn't that was, bad at that all, was actually. solid actually i think i'm impressed with myself there's very few people i would trust in a donut circle <laughs> just because it just comes, i've done it before yeah you've done it before yeah but also just so many people they get overconfident yeah as you plow into oncoming traffic. <laughs> yeah, dude, we didn't have any traction through second gear. I don't know if you felt that like. Oh, I did, I yeah. did. Yeah. But I stayed calm. I knew an expert was behind the wheel. Would you be, uh, if you saw the Aventador this season, would you be open to doing one of these again? Yeah, dude, for sure. What are your plans for this season then? Are you just gonna go to a lot of like cars and coffee and caffeine and octane, anything else besides that? Um, whatever pops up. One of my favorite shows, the motorcycle show, they do um, Vintage Motorcycle Night at Bajas Brewery. Okay. I forget which Thursday of the month it is, but it's fun. Is that I don't local? St. Paul. St. Paul? Okay. Yeah, so are you a big bike guy then? Because you have a Ducati, right? Yeah, I do. I like, I like cars, but I love bikes. I mean, I love everything, but cars, so. bikes, planes, love them all. It smells like rubber in here. Yeah. So, are you ever considering, or would you ever rewrap this car? Yeah, dude, I'm probably gonna go Nardo Gray once it gets the turbos in. Yeah. So how many different people have driven this car? Me, my girl, my dad, my brother, JP, Terry. In today's episode, I get a concussion. <laughs> a lot of people have driven this car. Yeah. <laughs> but they're all people that I trust. Trust, yeah. Aw, that's so sweet, man. Have you ever had, like, a, a drifting accident or anything like that? Of any uh, kind? this car, but yeah, dude. I, and the that's kind of how I got pretty good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely crashed. Is that what happened time. to the Camaro's front end? Not this time. 
Not this time. Not this time. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, I think this might be the fastest car that I've driven on this oh. laser. <laughs> I think this might be the fastest car that I've driven on this channel now because even though the Mustang was 560 wheel, I think it's heavier. So I'll have to do the math on that one after this. But I really do appreciate you letting me drive this a second time considering the uh, GoPro failed me last time battery-wise. But this is ridiculously fun to drive, man. I mean, and I'm sure the better I get on manual, the more I'll be able to send cars like this. But Yeah, dude, you did great. And it was yeah. fun. I got to rivet pretty good, so... <laughs> So, okay, let me ask you this, actually. Are your, Do you think your tires are good? I guess we could take a look when we step out. Yeah, we'll but... take a look. I, don't know. <laughs> I haven't looked at them for a while. Yeah, probably so should. should probably take a look at that. But... but anyways, guys, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please drop a like, comment, or a subscription, however you want to do it. But uh, if this is one of your favorite reviews, which it obviously is my top favorite as of right now, that's without a doubt, uh, please feel free to watch some of the other episodes, and thank you so much for watching. There you guys. How do you want to do this? Dude. I watched uh, Don't Mess with the Zohan like a Dude, week ago. That's a, amazing. <laughs> okay, let's go see the tires and get some video.